Good morning. It is 6.30. Just getting ready to leave for work. Uh, today we have a small project. I have a friend that owns a building in Milwaukee and he has a sewer grate in the parking lot and the riser rings that support that grate have failed or broken. So we're going to come there. We're going to saw cut a square on the sewer grate, rip all that out, put new riser rings in, um, and then go ahead and pour new concrete around it. So I'll show you how I deal with that. I have a few shout outs this morning quick. Uh, first to Bill and Christine uh, T from Pennsylvania. They wrote me a really nice letter and they sent me a box of goodies that are all made in locally there in Pennsylvania. Bunch of pretzels, candy, really good stuff. Thank you very much. Uh, second, I have uh, David and Maria R from the Caribbean Grill. So they own a restaurant. Him and I have gone back and forth quite a bit. Uh, but he sent me a sticker. He sent me a bunch of the sauce that they make there at the restaurant, a whole box of it. And then they gave me some shirts, which I'll show you later. Uh, but thank you very much. If you want to check them out, they're at uh, the Caribbean underscore grill on Instagram. So go ahead and check them out. And then finally to Todd Clark and uh, just a nice letter here. And then he sent me a couple bottles of barbecue sauce. Uh, there's only one here because I've been <laughs> I've been using the other one. It's very, very good. So thank you very much for all that. I appreciate your support. All right, well, I'm gonna take this trash out. I will see you guys at the coffee shop. Annie, are you ready? Ready for work? Oh, come on. How much garbage do we make? Good work. It is not a bad morning. A little bit below freezing right now, I think. But it's supposed to get up to low 40s today. So it's a good day. No wind. Gorgeous. For Wisconsin. <laughs> Some people would disagree. Morning, Missy. You good, how are you? I'm good. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. you. Morning. Enjoy your videos. Thank you, I appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks. 656 just pulling into the yard. Eric's here. So hopefully we haven't worked in a week it's been exactly a week so today it's just eric and francisco everybody else is done for the season um so hopefully the max starts skid steer starts farm truck starts hopefully the mac is well, i guess the form truck but the mac is probably going to be the hardest to start because it's uh it's 34 now but it was cold last night yesterday it's been it's been a lot colder it's been in the teens it's a little warmer than it was so hopefully she pops off i don't need this much but i need the breaker and the skid loader just to make it easy on us all right come on mac don't fail me now come on yes she's not happy but she started I'll let that warm up for a while. We really don't even need either one of these trucks. There's no reason to bring either one of these. If this thing fires up, we're good. Uh-oh, I don't think it's in neutral. Come on. No problem. Man, it's pretty nice this morning compared to the last like week of oh, morning it's like 12 13. monday was like went outside was like five it's, it felt so cold i know like, feels better this morning it's supposed to be like in the low 40s morning. morning you're not still sick are you yeah a little bit or a lot of bit a lot of bit oh look at he pulled out the hall just a like an exclamation point like i'm sick right away calls all right just follow me we got some rebar two that's it oh go empty this in the trash i'm gonna move my little pickup truck put it in the spot that it belongs the only thing i'm a little concerned about today is the ground i don't think it's going to be frozen because it's only been cold for about a week and it's underneath the pavement so if it's frozen i'm hoping it's just a little crust we can break through with a pick and a shovel 
That's the only thing I'm minorly concerned about. I think it'll be all right though. This thing we gotta get into the winter shop too and revive it again. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last year, paint all the black. I gotta fix those um the, those slide-in drawers that I made. I put two small uh, self-tappers in and they snap. So I gotta get bigger self-tappers. Not a ton to do to it. Just give it a thorough cleaning. Make sure we're hooked up properly. And it looks good. Good, good. That's not supposed to be like that. Good. Okay, we have about a 15 minute drive. So not too bad. It's still cold in here. Get some heat going. Lights, parking brake. They just sent me a picture, like a close-up picture. So let's go check it out. We're gonna have to run. I don't have the rings, I don't have mortar, and I forgot camera batteries. So we'll get started here, find it, get it cut, and then I'll run with somebody or something. We'll figure it out. I don't have concrete till noon, and I just don't think it's gonna take that long. I don't think it's this one. I don't know where it is. Maybe it was that one. Is it this one? Yep. Yep, I think it's this one here. Let's grab the breaker bar so we can pull the cap off. Oh, this parking lot is in bad shape right here. Bad shape. <clears throat> grab a hammer. Sled, like a little sledgehammer or something. Yeah, it's, it's packed in there pretty tight. Grab the uh, concrete saw with the diamond blade. Just bang around it. That's all you got it? Man. I run that thing over every day with a heavy truck. Yeah, I can tell. Uh, there's you... a forklift in there what I was thinking of. Oh, we got equipment. I was just gonna see if it was loose. <laughs> Grab a chalk liner. This is the one, right? I guess. It's busted, so. That's it there? Yep. Can you grab the, when you guys grab the two foot level? I hope that this is not too low already. I think the cover is just leaning like that. That way, a little bit. Okay, we chalked the lines. We're gonna get this asphalt cut. We're gonna have to pour this concrete. Oh, I'm gonna pour it seven inches thick. It's got to be pretty thick around this. Obviously, this is right where the trucks come in and grab the dumpsters. Those tires are going to be right on it. So we'll put a bunch of rebar in there and beef it up the best we can. So I got to grab the skid loader. Apparently, I, I just pulled in. We just came in, snapped the lines, and somebody pulled right behind me immediately. So I got to move the truck or something. Okay, I just got to pull up some. Put some cones out. I should have put cones out to begin with. It's my fault. Oh boy. Oh boy. I know you got to use muscle. Thank you, Francisco. <laughs> I don't know what it, I don't want to snap like that. <laughs> you think you're gonna snap that chain with your little 11 inch grass snake? Come on. My grease the camera. Yeah, right. He said he was gonna snap it. <laughs> yeah, right here. Pull it through this way. I gotta pull the truck forward. Hang on. We're gonna need the break or two. So 
Somebody can start sawing now. We got paper ones too. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Just wear this one. This one's ready to go. Hey, remember when Eric wore the mask with no filter? <laughs> he didn't even have these on there. No, I have this oh. one on there. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny, actually. Dude, and you're like, I was really wondering why it's still getting dust. I was like, why am I breathing so much <laughs> dust? <laughs> Safety first, there. And then look at this, we need more of these. Eric, once we start digging around, I probably got like 16 bottles of these lamps. <laughs> I do. Once we start going through stuff. Eric, see if you can grab this chain. Thank you. Oh. Well, I'll tie a knot. Just wrap that around the front of the breaker. Let's put the chain around here. It's going to come right out. top of that just put it over the top of that big piece of steel uh, hook it on the top thank you Got it. this one's a little different it's a 36 inch it's on the inside though. Probably I need two. All right, well, somebody has to stay here and cut this and then somebody can come with me. Make sure you cut deep all the way down. It didn't go beyond the line. Make sure it's down all the way. It don't matter if you got a little score line this far out. All right, we'll be right back, hopefully. All right, we're gonna let Francisco get that cut. We gotta grab some rings, some mortar. We're over here by County Material. They sell riser rings here. All right, uh, you guys have riser rings, right? Do we have riser rings? Not here. Okay. On our Genesee plant. No way. You guys used to have them here, right? Yeah, but it's been over a year now. Okay. Since right. we built Thanks the new plant. Every, all the Didn't you get them here? Yeah, but that was like last year. Yeah, that was last summer. Yeah. Actually, fall. It was like August. Is there anybody else that sells them around here that you know of? Oh, man. Genesee is really far away. Where's that at? <laughs> it's got to be like 45 minutes away, I think. So I think what I'll do is we'll get the we'll get the mortar, and then I, we'll go. I gotta get batteries. I'll go back then, and then and then I'll send you to go get the rings. Just stopped over by Home Depot. I'm gonna get a couple bags of mortar mix. Just grab two of those there. I'm only gonna use one more than likely, but we'll grab two. I mean, I charge them 10K. Who cares if we waste a little? <laughs> I can't believe they don't sell that stuff here over here. Sell what? Oh, no, not at Home Depot. That's like a specialty thing. Hi, good morning. Morning, how are you? I'm here, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't complain, but it doesn't do you any good. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Oh, hey, Eric. Mountain <laughs> Mellow Yellow and chips for breakfast. Yeah, I was just seeing somebody else coming here. Buy a whole bunch of snacks. Man. That's a sugar high. Yeah. That's salt and sugar. You gotta tell. Oh, you don't have to tell Eric. He knows <laughs> all too well about sugar and salt and grease. Once he worked for me, he blew up like a balloon, right, Eric? <laughs> uh, Eric, you should watch YouTube videos on kidney dialysis. Yeah. Yeah. That'll probably like change your mind about yeah, everything. See you later. Thank you. Thank you. Jeez, she was trying to save your life. <laughs> so are you gonna eat that though? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, I just grabbed some GoPro batteries and it was good because I forgot these t-shirts that David from the Caribbean Grill sent out. I got some t-shirts for you guys. This one's Francisco's. Eric Doopity. <laughs> Francisco's Poopity. <laughs> and then look at the back. Poopity <laughs> Doo. So, that is cool. That's for you. Thank you. <laughs> Eric Doopity. <laughs> it's funny. 
Yeah, it is. Go get Francisco his. I'm gonna get some diesel and now we gotta go back. I forgot I gotta show you something. What happened? Tyler from ProLine sent me something else. Oh. Wait till you see this. Look it. No way. He sent you that? Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, look at that one though. I know. So this just makes a big circle. There's four of them. You put them all together. Oh, that is so awesome. Dude. You don't have to put those out. You get the idea. Is that cool? That's awesome. I can't dude. wait to use these in the spring. I'm thinking about pouring a pad by the yard just so I can use these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Just put a pad for no reason. Yeah. No, I actually am going to test some concrete though. When yeah. we test it, I'm going to throw these on. Imagine having like this or that and then all stamped around it with a nice texture <sighs> that's why i love concrete there's always something new to do with it oh look looseberg's pouring oh yeah basement basement. basement and the stoop yeah Damn, i wish we weren't busy i'd go help him for sure uh, it says i have to go in for the receipt i'll be out in a second i need a receipt for the diesel thank you all right now we're gonna go back to the job finally all right, we just got back at the place. Oh, it, it's opening. We were locked out. They must have seen us with the cameras. It's 9:12 already. Francisco's probably been done for a long time. He's been sleeping, I bet. What if he has it all broken out? It's all ready for concrete. That would be nice. Definitely not. Oh, I thought he did. That guy. No, he's sleeping in the skid loader. <laughs> he is. Uh, take off right away, man. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll give you some money and grab those rings. Hey, write this on your phone. They're 36 inch inside diameter. Were you sleeping, Franny? Yep. At least he's on it. <laughs> I'm gonna crack this out real quick. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab that steel ring off the top. For set that to the side. What happened? Why is my breaker not breaking? The breaker ain't breaking. No? No. Wonder what's going on with that. It's barely moving. I'm just gonna loosen this top ring. There it goes. I'm gonna loosen this up and then I'll empty that bucket and then uh, then we'll dig around and I'll take that, that riser off and then hopefully Eric will be back with the new risers. All right, everything's loose. Um, I'm gonna empty that bucket and then we'll finish digging out. Diggy diggy. Easy work. Try not to get too much in there. Yeah. Fill the whole drain up. <laughs> Stuff in it. We did get some in there. Yeah. You know what I'll do is I'll hold Eric by his feet <laughs> and then I'll dip him down in there. Yeah, he's got the easy job today. He hasn't had to do anything. Just run around. I'm gonna have to pull that dumpster over too. Because uh, I'm sure they're gonna have to empty it. I'll just pull it over with a chain maybe put it over here somewhere for now i'll have to ask the guy inside i don't even know who's in here i only know the old owner all right we're done digging out we're gonna sweep up i'm gonna pull that old concrete ring off hopefully they're gonna be back in not too long hopefully all right hopefully that comes off relatively easily we're gonna find out right now Look 
We don't want it to fall in at all. Bucket him? Yep, right in the bucket. He's so strong. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna clean that off, get that ready. Eric should be back soon. Okay, I got this all cleaned off. I got that cleaned off. I gotta wait for Eric now. We're gonna put a ring right on top of here and then just see where it is. We might have to trim some of this down, build that up, whatever we gotta do. Whatever we gotta do, we'll do it. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. This ain't gonna work. So that's not gonna work. Because the ring he's getting is gonna go on top of here. So the ring plus that's gonna be higher than that. So this this has to come off like this lip. You, you cut this? Yep, so we gotta get that lip off. So grab the concrete saw once. Yeah, I just grabbed the saw. Let me let me do a little bit of cutting and see how it's gonna go. This is what I had to do at the other place too. Cause that ring's meant to go on the inside here, but we can't do that anymore. Grab the hammer. Yeah, basically gonna have to do that all the way around. Um, grab the pick and dig down here. So this lip's all the way exposed. Dig the gravel down so it's like that. I'm gonna just start making slices and we'll cut that all off. I thought I just saw him fill it. I filled it off. Did you fill the other saw? No, this one right. I'll fill up this one all the way full. It's and, he, and he needs to get gas because there's no more gas in the, in the phone truck. Uh, no gas. Garbage, man. This one's empty, so it's good. Guys come. Monday, Thursday. Two days a week? I don't I think that one goes like once a week or something. That one's still empty. Yeah. Alright, I'll talk to him inside. Okay. Thank you. That looks like easy money right there. Really easy. <laughs> yeah. Man, we don't even know what we're doing. I opened this all up and I don't even know what to do. I'm waiting for help. I'm waiting for my rings. Lakeshore burial ball, man. They have rings? I sent Eric all the way to Genesee to get rings. They have Lakeshore Burial Vault. They moved to Lannan now, though. They're in Lannan? Yeah, They're right still, after, yeah. still a lot closer than Genesee. We got to do something about this. That's going to be a problem. Where's this water coming from? It just started right now. Coming off the snow off the top. It's going right around into the concrete. I'm going to call Eric, man. He's been... He's been gone for a long time. I hope he's almost back. Are you almost pulling up or what? You yeah, almost. I got it. Are you oh, almost? Wait, I'm actually. Uh, I'm actually passing. I'm almost there right now. Okay. All right. I can't go faster. I'm going already 68. Oh, okay. In the 35. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks. Bye. He said he was going 68 in the 35. Yeah. Right. <laughs> He better not be. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Yeah. Uh, I got a 12 o'clock. I gotta make 12:30 and make it a go. Let me get uh, let me get one yard. Give me a eight bag, low chert air microfiber, four inch slump, and three percent NCA. All right, thank you. But concrete ordered. Man, this is taking forever. We've been waiting. We've been doing nothing for a long time, waiting for Eric, and it was my fault, kind of. I mean, I've been buying rings from there for a long time. I didn't even think I needed a call, but 
I guess I should have called to make sure they have a ring because he had to go really far to get rings. And now my friend Larry just showed up and he said they got rings right here in Lannan, which is like less than half the distance. Man, we could paint anything in there. That's all I was thinking. I was Man. Like, we could booth like that way? Oh, we could rent it. We could rent that paint booth and we could paint Lamborghinis, Ferraris, <laughs> Bugattis. Oh, Imagine if let Eric paint and he painted it like a, <laughs> he, like he painted my shed. Oh. Imagine if somebody brought a Lamborghini Paint and you painted dripping. it like that, all oh, dripping. That's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> oh, like, don't worry, we still got a wet sand. It'll be fine. <laughs> There's some flavored water right there if you want some. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Just like body work in there. Sanding, lots of sanding in that side. Finally! Dude, he took forever. Eric, where have you been? It's far! Where have you been? Mix me some mortar right away. Did you break these? These are both broken. Uh, Eric, did you break these? Away. No. They gave it to you like yeah, this? Yeah. What would they do that, man? You have to hook and hold the other side. Who's that? Dude, it's broken in about 10 pieces already. Hey, put some gas in the saw right away. Boy, 62 miles an hour. Eric. Yeah. Go faster than that next time. Where's the gas? Bro, I, I you got gas, running. right? Yeah. It's right, it's right Eric, there. Eric, set it down. Eric, set it down. Ain't nowhere near ready. I ran out of gas. Hey, mix it stiff. Don't mix it wet. Mix it really stiff. Okay. Having to improv improvise a little bit here. But we're gonna make it work. All right, I'm gonna put that ring on dry. Just see where we're at. The inside of this ring is gonna be a little smaller, which is what I wanted. Because that base would have just been barely hanging on on the next ring size up i don't want it barely hanging on i want it on there all the way so this is four and a half already on this side so that side's not going to be hardly any mortar at all this side does this side i need an inch of mortar so just a touch over there and a full inch over here which is quite a bit on your legs yeah. and I'll lower you down with the bobcat <laughs> and as you scoop it out with this yeah, and throw it over your head. head. Alright, that motor all the way around. Don't set it all the way down yet, just go down. You can hold it here, but hold it up above because we want to center it first. Center. This one's good. Let's level that way. Let's get that way. Grab some your mags and edges and all that. Oh, you guys couldn't do this. More legs. You guys would go right in. <laughs> yeah. You want to try? If you step in the ring, I'm going to be really mad. Oh, oh no. no. Whatever you do, don't touch the ring. Because it'll move. Just make sure you center it. Your way a little. Your way a little. Okay, set it down. Set it down. I'm sure, I'm, sure I'm, I'm down. Okay. Don't get so excited about it. <laughs> it's pretty good there. It's lower here, but... It's level. This side's got to go down a touch, though. All right, we're level. We're level. Check this side. This one's, this one's perfect. All right. Uh, take a little of this gravel out. See, it's higher here. All right, I'm just mortaring the outside of the ring now. We're pretty much ready for concrete. 
That's all done. Now we gotta set the grate in. Where's that blower? Blow that inside ring off so the grate sits flat. I wanna put the grate in now. I don't wanna open hole. Nice and clean, Eric. Here, grab the bottom. Like just like this. Now we gotta be careful we don't jostle that lid too much. It's not that heavy, Eric. This is a thin one. Nice and gentle. Okay, your way, my way. Okay, good, I'm done. Man, look at that. Beautiful. We just need concrete. Eric, go dump that in the dump truck. He could put everything away. How many rebar we got on there? Whatever we got, grab. All right, we're just sweeping up. Concrete should be on the way. Everything worked out pretty good. The drain is exactly at the elevation it needs to be. It lines up with this flow line perfect. See what we got. Not bad. All right. Rebar. Go ahead, tie it down and everything right away. Let's get everything wrapped up. Tie it down? Yeah, just tie it down, get everything done. That way we don't have to worry about anything later. Concrete's here. I'll take the bar off for a minute. Hey, take the blower. There, and blow all that real good first. Blow this a little bit this way quick, and then try to keep blowing it that way. Start here, and go this way. You gotta get it good. It's gonna be bad, man. Go grab that piece of cardboard over there. You helping or no? Sure. Yeah? Here. Sure. No, I'm just kidding. You gotta go put them stickers on your truck. I think let's put it over here, and right in a puddle. Maybe it'll help soak some of this up before it makes its way down. Maybe. We'll just keep doing this and blowing it. And hope for the best. That stuff looks perfect. It's got 3% 8 bag. That stuff is wet. Right here? We gotta put the bars. It's gonna get all messed up, so. There it don't even play with it, we gotta put the rebar, so. I'm just waiting for him to put some over here so we can put the bar. It's gonna be a never ending battle against this water. Hey, one of you guys is gonna have to stay here all night and blow it. Right. For real. <laughs> Overtime, Eric. Come over by this card bar, see what you got in there. A couple shovels or whatever. There's nothing up there right now. Not a little? Yeah, just a tiny bit, I'll let you know. That's good. Ho, 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 ho. You gave me a whole yard. You gave me a yard. Man. You got a wheelbarrow somewhere for him? Yeah, that's it. There? Yeah. Okay, you can't wash there. Why don't you take it out on the street somewhere? I still want no water down here, you know? Yeah, we got a problem with the water for sure. It's unstoppable too, what are you gonna do? To take out part of the parking lot, let it drain in there. Look at this. Look at this water. Problem is it's still coming. Eric, is there a gas blower? Is it full? Or have some in there? So the water's never gonna end. That's the problem we have. Cause there's ice way back there that's melting and just coming this way. Even a super little easy job, something's gotta be fighting against us. Always, always fighting against us. The 
never ending struggle. I just gotta blow the whole time, Eric. I'm gonna put some dryer on it, Eric. I'll have to. It's like toss on color. The water? Oh, it's gonna be coming. I gotta keep fighting it. You need more of this, Eric. Right? Let it sit for one for a second and then and then do it. Just broom it. <laughs> I know. That's what I wanna do. Just wet broom it. Yeah, right, Eric. We gotta put joints in. No way. Yeah, we do. Yeah, it needs four joints. It's gonna crack up. Popping now. Can't even finish it, Harley. Is it? <laughs> now we gotta put water on the top. Oh man. I gotta start blowing that again. It's coming through again. Man. It's coming through again. So we got the concrete down and this water keeps coming. I'm fighting it, but you gotta keep blowing it like every five minutes because it's just it continues down these cracks. It's almost back down there again. I gotta blow it again right now. So every five minutes you have to blow it. And it got it got really wet over there, so I had some Tams patch. I've been putting that on the surface all the way around just to try to dry up the surface. It's fine over here, but over there it's it was so wet. Put a bunch of that on there and worked it worked it in like color hardener and it's definitely helping. Hey, we gotta get this scooped up too. If you wanna pull forward a little bit, scoop it in there. What's Eric looking at all the time? Huh? People's comments. Eric, stop it. They're gonna get in your head. You done? There you go. That's the spirit. Ray would be proud today. Big Ray would be proud. All this extra concrete. I told the guy, I was like a tiny, 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 and it just came out in a big old, big old plop. It wasn't really his fault either, it was just so stiff. It's just all, it all came out at once. You gotta get a better edge on there. This really looks bad. No, it looks really bad. Clean it? That's too much juice right here. I know it's messed up. It's driving me crazy too. These guys are probably thinking we are idiots. Yeah, they are. Guys have been running their blower all day. What are they doing? Oh, it's working though. Look. Look. Why are these guys putting toilet paper all over their concrete? Let's just do that one more time and then hit it with your mag or edger and mag real quick. And then I'll broom it really fast. And then uh, he's just going to have to live with it. I don't know what else to do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm not a magician. I mean, I'm putting toilet paper on here to try to save it. What is that? Look at the, you know, you see the bubbles? look at the bubbles. All that water that's underneath. <sighs> Wait a minute. Damn. Either? Yeah, yeah. It's it's all the water now. Gas is coming up. You're never gonna stop it. You might as well stop trying, Francisco. Just grab your tools, Eric, and do this right here. <laughs> yeah, right. Stop it from back there. Yeah. We just toilet paper the whole parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> got rolls everywhere. I don't think Francisco worked it in good enough right there. What if it all peels off by tomorrow? <laughs> I'm serious. I shouldn't have put that stuff on there. Look at this peel in there. Look at that. Oh no. That's weird. Only one little spot though. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. It's bubbling up. Uh, I ain't saying it here, Eric. I'm not saying easy money. <laughs> I'm not. It looks fine for a parking lot. All right, we're done. Putting some cones. It is what it is. The water just keeps coming. And it's gonna, it's gonna come over the top of the concrete again and stain it brown. I'm gonna have Eric come tomorrow. Cut a joint tomorrow, Eric. Cut one joint this way and one joint that way, and make sure you continue this straight through. Okay. But don't cut the sewer grate. Okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, right through, it falls in, boom! Cut the joints and then wipe that sewer grate off because it's got cream water on it again. And get that nice and clean and then that's it. The sewer grate's strong, the concrete's strong. It's just that uh, it got juicy all along here so the finish isn't great. Yeah, all right, county material. 
Shout out to uh, County because they know good hats. The Richardson 112s, yep. mm -hmm. best hats on the market. Okay, this is funny. Oh no way! It was good doopity. Eric, Let's see the back. Eric doopity. Or this one poopity. And then poopity doopity. Poopity and doopity. All right, I'll meet you back at the yard. Hey, don't forget the bucket yeah. with the water. I'll meet you at 52. So. <laughs> I'm going to the yard first. I'm not driving the Mac around town like it's my daily. Okay. Promotion? Yeah, no. No, no, promotion. Uh, what is it? Uh, My pickup truck has a wrap. All right, we're out here. I'm gonna drive this thing back to the yard. <sighs> I wish I had some more inside concrete work. Just a few jobs, you know, one here and one there would be really nice, but I don't have anything right now. The problem is all your outdoor contractors, they want to work inside in the winter, so they fight for all the jobs, and they end up going really cheap to where you can't even really make a profit. It's not even worth it. So, I'm not working for free. I love concrete, but not for free. Oh, they got me. Oh, man. man it is really nice out today. It did get into the low 40s for sure. It's just gorgeous for this time of year. You guys in Arizona and Florida and Southern California, like Ryan's crazy. He thinks 42 is beautiful. Well, it is here in Wisconsin in the winter time. Going to eat? Where, where do you want to go? Because remember we ordered the burgers? Oh, you guys like the burgers at Chili's. All right, I guess we can go uh, we can go to Chili's if you really want a burger. Those are really good there. All right, we came over here by Chili's to eat lunch. It's late. It's like, what time is it? Like two o'clock? It's really late for lunch, but we didn't eat any. I didn't eat anything today at all. Nothing. Not even uh, Not even breakfast. Same spot as last time. Yep. And your menus are on the table. Thank you very much. I got to eat healthy, guys. Yeah, I'm getting a Santa Fe grilled chicken salad. What are you getting here? The Paquita Trio. The most uh, expensive thing on the menu? And I'm gonna get the quesadilla salad. Is that pretty tasty? That's the best one. You pick yes! It. Does that come with like a, a dressing in it? Like yep, it has a Santa Fe sauce. Can I get that on the side? Yeah. yeah. Can I get the old time timer with cheese? Oh, that looks super good. Oh, that looks Enjoy. great. I'll check that. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you, Ryan. Oh. What do you mean, thank you, Ryan? I didn't even say I was paying here. Huh? I thought you were paying. Yeah, thank, you, oh. thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. Thank you, Eric. All right, let's go. Yep, right, see you guys. Uh, I gotta talk to you later because I got that attorney meeting, which oh, yeah, I didn't remember earlier. Yeah, we'll talk to you later. All right, later. yep, see you guys. All right, I gotta go pick up Mr. Daniel from school. My wife texted me earlier that we have a, an appointment with an attorney tomorrow morning at 11, which is like the worst possible time, right in the middle of the workday. It is what it is. This appointment with the attorney is really important. I can't miss it, so. See what happens. Let's go pick up the CEO from school. Hi, Daniel. Hi. How was school? Bad. Bad? Why? You can't really see, but we were playing a game. Yeah. And I fell and I slipped in the mud and this all was mud. Oh. 